Hello everybody, my name is Rodolfo and tonight I would like to do some questions with you guys uh, to help you guys to study for the boiler license. I'm also studying to get my next license. So number one, it's necessary to generate steam in a boiler. A container, true, water, definitely, and heat. So my answer is all the above. The is part of the boiler with water in one side and heat of on the other. That what? Heating surface. So the heating surface is the part of the boiler with water on one side and heat on the other. Number three, a boiler has heat and gases of combustion pa uh, that pass through tubes surrounded by water. Fire tube boiler, guys. A boiler has water in the tubes and heat and gases of combustion passing around the tubes. Water tube boilers are used in boilers to direct the gases of combustion over the boiler heating surface baffles because some boilers has like two paths so as the flame goes this way the baffles direct to pass through the tubes and then out of the stack so baffles Baffles. I used in boilers to direct gas baffles. Okay, um, sensible heat is heat that can be measured with thermometer and do not cause change of the state. Okay. Next question. Is used to transfer heat from one substance to another without allowing the material to mix. Heat exchanger. Uh, in the tube, air mixed with fuel and burns in the combustion chamber. Combustion. A perfect combustion, right? We already answered that question. Is combustion that occurs when fuel is burned using only the theoretical amount of air? Um, primary air is air that controls the combustion rate, which determines the amount of fuel burn. The breaking up of fuel into small particles to maximize contact of fuel with air for combustion is atomization. The system provides the air necessary for combustion, draft. The is the highest pressure in pounds per square inch at which a boiler can safely be operated maximum allowed in working pressure m a w p okay let's do those together now a boiler does not use tubes Gas iron does not use tubes. To increase efficiency of the boiler, um, more fuel is added. That's not true. Fire tubes are decreased in size. The heating surface is increased. All the above. So, increasing heating surface you increase efficiency because you're gonna absorb all the heat and transfer to the water
the four systems necessary to operate a boiler are uh, feed water okay fuel system draft system and steam system uh, combustion draft steam boiler water water steam combustion stoker no stoker boiler water fuel draft condensate no condensate fuel to water fuel system draft steam I would say it's a combustion okay combustion Pressure is the pressure caused by the weight of air surrounding the earth. Atmospheric pressure. Uh, during operation, a boiler. During operation, a boiler holds water. No. Collects the steam that's produced. No. Transfer heat to water to produce steam. Yes. So we see. Water turns to steam at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Atmospheric pressure. Boiler have sections that can be assembled on site to produce the boiler capacity required. Cast iron. The amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one pound of water, one degree Fahrenheit, is BTUs, British Thermal Unit. Heat is transferred by conduction, convection, and radiation, so it's all the above. A is a component directly attached to the boiler that's required for operation of the boiler. Uh, I'm going to say accessories, okay? Because we attach the DA, the feed pump, we attach the steam line, we attach all these accessories to uh, for the operation of the boiler. Okay. Uh, the non-flammable material used to insulate the outer surface of the boiler from heat is uh, steam bridge no. Aqua test no. Um, the non flammable material used to insulate the outer surface of the boiler for heat is refractory for sure. A fire tube boiler has a long cylindrical shape, is a fire tube boiler that has a long cylindrical shape. Is a I would say uh, firebox. I would say firebox. Okay. So boiler system. Now we know that question that I was not sure. Let's see if I answer correct. I was not 100% sure. So it's not combustion, so I was wrong. It's feed the water, fuel, draft, and steam. Fuel. Very tricky, guys. Very, very tricky. 
very trick. Steam system. Steam system is is here. It's A. Okay. Feed water. Feed water is B. Boiler. C. And fuel system. D. Draft goes in and now the stack it's E. Got it? Let's go to the next exercise. The Scott Marine Boiler. So tubes are B. Okay, let's see. A gas of combustion internal furnace so definitely the internal furnace is C internal furnace it's C ok uh, A, B and D let's say we have tubes I would say B definitely is tubes So now we have the, I would say gas of combustion, it's A going out because of the little arrow, and D, tube sheets, D. Okay, so furnace, tube sheets, gases. Now steam heating system, okay, condensate receiver main steam line feed water pump steam header branch lines main steam stop heating unit steam trap and boiler so definitely boiler is f f uh, definitely uh, a steam trap is definitely B. B. Okay. Uh, uh, e. D. So feed water pump is E. Definitely feed water pump E. Uh, D. It's receiver, condensate receiver tank is D. Main steam line is I. Main steam line is I. Steam header, I would say G. G. Now, main steam line is G, sorry. G and steam header I, definitely. Uh, branch lines C. Main stop valve, main steam stop valve H. And heating unit is letter A. Okay, guys, let's go to the next exercise. HIT boiler. Furnace. It's C. Gas of combustion. It's E. Sling. Tube sheets, I would say, is tube sheets, I would say, B. Bridge wall, D. 
Boiler G Steel Beam F and Sling A okay. Straight Tube Water Boiler So uh, Furnace it's C Burner assembly is D. Uh, internal feed water line is F. Tubes are B. Gas of combustion A. Steam water drum E. And that was our last exercise for tonight. Okay, just remember who watched the previous video. Heat flows from high temperature to low temperature. Okay, that's the second law of thermodynamics. Uh, approximately... 14 to 15 pounds of air is required to burn one pound of fuel. Okay, I was not 100% uh, sure. So I check it out. I went over the book. In low pressure boilers, has to have less than 15 and not over. So I'm gonna keep reading this book. Okay, boiler principles, operation principles, and tomorrow I hope I can get halfway to the second chapter, or maybe I can finish the second chapter, and we'll come up with more exercise to practice for our license. Thank you.